markets alert to a policy update that should follow the meeting of the Federal Open Market Committee. However, traders' calendar contains a lot of other notable events. Let's watch it on InstaForex TV channel. In the middle of the week, there are several market moving events for the pound sterling. On Thursday, the Bank of England is holding a policy meeting. Besides, traders will get to know some macroeconomic reports from the UK. The policy meeting is going to end with a predictable outcome as the key interest rate is expected to remain unchanged. Besides, the Monetary Policy Committee is likely to keep the asset purchase program at the same volume. Investors and these decisions will be passed by the anonymous vote. The predictable outcome means that traders could neglect the event. Thus, traders shift focus towards retail sales data, a report of major importance which will be released a couple of hours before the policy statement from the Bank of England. Analysts assume that retail sales in the UK contracted to 2.7% in May in annual terms and dropped to the negative territory month on month with a print of minus 0.5%. Such dismal figures signal recession in the British economy that is certainly bearish for the pound. Sterling. Later the same date, Bank of England Governor McCartney will deliver a speech at the Manson House Bankers of American uh, Dinner in London. The policymaker is widely expected to warn against uh, the adverse impact of Brexit on the domestic economy. His comments could be another reason for traders to sell off the sterling. By the way, today inflation data confirmed that the UK economy is going through troubled times. Inflation data in Japan is likely to provide fresh evidence that consumer prices remain sluggish for a few years. Consumer inflation is still unable to reach the target level of 2%. The consensus suggests a decline to 0.7% in May. The market is ready for low inflation prints in Japan. So, market sentiment on the yen will depend entirely on the news about developments in the trade conflict between the United States and China. China. Apart from the above set events, it would be a good idea for traders to take notice of other important data. New Zealand will report on GDP growth. During the Asian trade, the Bank of Japan will announce its policy decisions with a press conference to follow. Besides, there is a Bank of Australia governor will speak tomorrow. In Europe, state leaders of the European Union will conduct the first day of the summit on Thursday. On Friday, experts of market economics will present a series of surveys with the preliminary PMIs for the key sectors of large European economies and the United States. You are watching Forex Trader Calendar on InstaForex TV channel with me Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals.